Super grub, and it's a size 10. Thread, I'm just going to use black, uni, and 8 0. Start at the eye, take the thread down, see the length, until basically you're in, the thread's in line with the point of the hook. Now I want to try and save a bit of bulk. Now I'm going to use a fine gold wire, basically for the rib, and protect the body hackle. But I'm going to tie it onto the bare hook and the way around, just in the way round the hook and all the way down. Take your time. And then for the body, I'm just going to use some natural peasant tail. Now, if looking for probably a good half a dozen fibres or more. I'll show you, I'll put quite a lot on just to show you how quick you can cover the body. And this will compensate for any broken ones that's within these fibres. Now what I've done is taken obviously the thread round and I'm holding the roots or the area where the fibres came from the, the feather because I like to tear up from the feather. And then a loose turn thread to bring these right in to the tips. Maybe about 2 mil from the tips itself and then Tighten up, take your thread all the way up till about 3 to 4 mil from the eye, more 4 mil than anything, and then spread out the fibres. And as you see, because there are quite a few there, it covers extremely well. All the way up. Now you leave and need enough room for a hackle. Now to tie off, as you see, a wound. The pheasant tail account, I brought the fibres towards myself. The reason I like doing that with like a weak fibre like pheasant, pheasant tail is that when I bring the wire the normal way aligned, it, it, gr it grips more of the fibre and protects it better. But what I do here is come across the pheasant tail, do a turn, and do a turn on the hook. Do the same again, and onto the hook. Do that about three times, and that should be enough to hold it. And then trim away the excess. Now for the body, I'm just using a medium red. This is a saddle cock hackle. Now looking for the fibre length to stay within or close within the bend, meaning when I wind the fibre or the fibre length should be within the bend and the point. So you do a turn there and then work your way down. Now, if you're doing a normal fly, you're looking probably four turns or so, but with a daddy, you can exaggerate slightly, so do about five to six turns. Cross your, your wire, and then quickly bring it up through. Try and not trap in many, many of these fibres. The quicker you go up, the better. The slower you go, the more likely you are to trap in some fibres. Now, I usually break that off, which I do all the time, but I would expect, just, just in case, tie, tie in the rib first before you do that. I'm used to doing that all the time, so. Tie down your rib, and we fold it back. Because it's a fine wire, we can do that. Then bend and break it off. And there you are, there's your body. For the legs, I'm just going to use always the natural pheasant tail. And these are pre-knotted legs, saves a bit of time. Uh, you, could, you could add on more than six just to give more of a disturbance or more impression of the leg. But six is plenty. And basically put three down either side. Now if you're keeping it within, say, fishing competition rules, just watch the length. Tie it on the sides. Tighten up. Trim away the excess. Always like to tidy up. If you've got that four mil or so area for tying, for tidying up, or adding in anything, you should be able to do that no problem. Now for the wing, you could use either either a, a grizzle 
Or in this case, this is an Indian cape. It's just like, like a golden badger. It's a lovely colour. Just to, need two hackle points. Well marked hackle points in this case. If you pull them from the same part of the cape, you'll get the right length. There you are. Very simple to tie on. You don't need to remove any fibres. Just get the length you would like. Now, if you're keeping it within a certain size or shape, don't have it as the same length as the the, the legs. Just just less, so that you get a nice a nice shape, a nice profile. Just tie them on the top. And there you go. Just sit side or side, and then trim away. If you if you tie it with basically with all the fibres. It just gives it a bit of cushion and ties in much easier. If you remove the fibres to get the tie in the tips, there's more likely that they'll go their own way. That way it holds it a wee bit better. Now for the front hackle, what I'm going to use here is a fiery brown Chinese. Just simply, you can tie it in by the tip. Or well, in this case, just tie it in by normal, just out of the butt section. Just remove the fine fluff. And then bring your thread up, break that off. Now what I'm going to do here is hackle pliers on. You fold the hackle, just draw it through your fingers, tie it on the edge, obviously, and try not to touch it, just wind through or wind it down. If you fold the hackle you'll be able to do this. Towards the eye the thread, two or three turns in. You slightly fold it back there. Now, for strength, you can wind your thread through it. Just take the thread up and then back down. Your fly will last much longer if you do that. Just make sure any fibres going forward the eye, draw them back. Bring your thread to the front and then form a small head and then let it finish. And then simply varnish the head. All the way around. Need allow that to dry and then add another coat in that view. There you go. And that's your, your daddy snatcher.